Good early morning, we're so glad you're here. It's sunny and we daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Here's a glimpse of Chicago. The only glimpse of Chicago you'll get until nighttime because we are spending the day in the suburbs. Hello, beautiful Drake Hotel. One day your gazebo will be lit up. How come you giving me a dirty look? <laughs> Teddy always requests that we hold hands in the car. Oh. Oh. So our first stop this morning is to see our nephews and their mom Angela. I see they're like half, maybe when we were when we lived back on the south side after we married or before we were married maybe. Um, Regularly on the weekends, we would bring donuts over, like on one of the weekend mornings. Um, this was like one of the one of the things that we used to do um, when her boys were like our boys' age. So we are going over there just like to have like a nice morning. Honestly, we have zero plans. We're just hanging out. Um, everyone gets busy with all of their schedules and such, like for Christmas, and we want to make sure that we see them. So we're. We're grabbing Dunkin' Donuts, and we're just gonna go and just hang out. Also, I ordered a milkshake, because this Dunkin' Donuts is also a Baskin Robbins, and it was like a po- a, oh, what did I just say? It was a peppermint mocha Thank you. shake, Thank you. and it was $6.79. I had no idea. I saw it pop up on the like drive through menu. My luxury <laughs> milkshake. This tastes like Christmas at my mom's. Like, my mom would always have peppermint ice cream in the freezer. And I'm honestly like, that's like not my go-to. But this is nice to just like, get those feels. Cousin and the youngest cousin. Comfy. What? A couple of you mentioned that Meyer had cranberry pops, so we're gonna check it out here. We had a lovely time with our family. Um, it took a couple of clips that I'll have thrown in there, um, but just so nice to just visit. Um, just a sweet, sweet time with our boys. So I'm at Meyer now, and I have not been here in so long, and I forgot how overwhelming it is. There's so much here. Great bakery, great clothes. Like I'm in this like organizational aisle, but I need to find my pop. Zero sugar. These got me excited because they had a snowflake on them. It's ginger beer and ginger ale. Is there more Meyer brand? I don't see it. Aha. Okay, I found some. Looks like it's just cranberry soda, which is what I was told in the comments. So it's not like ginger ale cranberry, but we're gonna try it out. Luca, you need to open this. Wow. No clothes to be seen. <laughs> That's to see. Wow. Wow. Your very own. We are at Christina's now for Luca's birthday cake and coffee, but we're also gonna eat dinner here. Teddy's snoozing, and I'm gonna try this pop. Is that so your kid or my kid? <laughs> it looks like cranberries here, miss. Yeah, oh my gosh. 
They've got to buy 15,000. There was a lot there. It was good. It's not cranberry. It's tartar. Yeah, it's like more cranberry than. It doesn't have any lemon lime to it. But I think it's closer to cranberry syrup. Because it's sweeter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Soon. What are you making now? It's a surprise. Oh. But it's, you said a drink? A drink. Ooh. It's a I taught Grant more home ownership even though I've never owned a home. He lit, he lit a pilot light in the garage and changed storm doors. Tell him the true amazing thing that happened today. Argentina? World Cup? Oh, yeah. We haven't discussed that yet. Great open our eyes to the World Cup. We're not big soccer fans. <laughs> Huge. They watched one game. <laughs> and Christina's making me some kind of alcohol cranberry drink, which I'm doing before I even go run 15 miles. So if my run is not successful, it's Christina's fault. So what's in there? Vodka? What's heated up in this? Jalapeno syrup. Oh, I didn't know that. I made like a sweet jalapeno syrup. Ooh. I just want to see it. fizz in my mouth just now. Are you nervous? I am. Also, shout out to these amazing like 90s. Were these the McDonald's cups? Or are these from Disney? These are from Disney World. The year 2000 from McDonald's. It's really good. I don't taste. You said jalapeno? Yeah. I mean, you can't take it more. Oh no, I took a bigger sip. I don't taste the jalapeno, but it like scratches your throat from the spiciness. And I don't taste almost any vodka, so either it shouldn't make a strong drink or it's dangerous and it's hidden. You want this one, Anna? Yeah. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Um, look at this planet, Pizza Planet truck. Also, I'm going to Planet Fitness because it, Christina and Grant's treadmill didn't work out for me. So, I'm lucky to be on the south side and access to a Planet Fitness for my long run. Christina's making some orzo. Wow, a little vodka action. I'll link the TikTok below of what she, where she found this recipe. for motivation of quotes rather than cool cartoons. I'm all about motivational quotes. Oh, it's chilly out. I'm all about motivational quotes, but I do enjoy my, my Planet Fitness's cartoons. <laughs> what did you get? Cool, dude. <laughs> Are they sitting here? How come we have one child who fell asleep in the car ride, woke up on the transfer ah, in because it's freezing out, but fell back asleep, and one baby that was so tired trying to stay awake and I was ready to party? <laughs> he just needs some alone time with mom and dad. Oh, it's this. super early. It is. We got this uh, cranberry soda from Meyer that we're gonna try because I haven't like I tried taste, it. I did a taste test on the oh, vlog. I didn't like. I had it in that that like cocktail that Christina knew, so I haven't had it just like straight, just it's pop. So good. it tastes. I think it tastes the closest to cranberry syrup mist because the focus is on the cranberry. It's not like oh, like there's hints of cranberry in yeah, my like ginger it ale. It is a cranberry it's like soda. A cranberry pop. So thank you. I remember we got comments about it to try it. Yeah. So hello, Evers. Daddy is blowing nonstop raspberries. 
What should we do, guys? What should we do? <laughs> I think one thing that we have to do is make a little like rough schedule for the week because Peter has to run and we're actually hosting Christmas Eve at our apartment and so we'll want to like do a little bit of shopping and get stuff done but also have fun but I think with like the new routine I talked about like our stacked Mondays and Wednesdays that'll be for, for doing the not so fun things um, but Tuesday Thursday have fun we already have something fun planned Thursday <laughs> Remember last Christmas you were just in my tummy? And now you're here, so goofy. And so many teeth. Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It is another two-parter. Um, Last night, I don't know if Peter signed off or not. We watched half of Don't Worry Darling and then Teddy started to stir and it was getting a little bit too late. Um, so we decided to just go to bed, which was nice, um, but I didn't get to edit. So it's another two-parter and it's Monday morning. Peter is starting his meetings for the day. Um, but the good thing is the sun is shining again. Yesterday was sunny and today is sunny. And it just feels nice when the sun shines in Chicago in the winter. Chicka, 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 chicka. Even though it is sunny today, it's 14 degrees. And that's not even including the wind. Oh gosh, the wind chill. So it is a cold one. It is, it is cold up. Okay, so a new part of our routine. So I keep on saying that. Um, me and Peter keep saying it a lot too, so I feel like I say it and then I laugh because it's like our inside joke, like it's part of the new routine. Um, so you guys are in on the joke. Um, is to get coffee and a pastry of some sort on Mondays to just give a little treat. You guys know we love little treats. Okay, I'm going in. I'll finish my thought in a minute. That little box is cool. All right, we're headed out. Sorry, I didn't realize, <laughs> I didn't realize that I was gonna talk so much and that I wouldn't have time to finish my thought. So I picked up the Two-Hearted Queen for our little Monday treat. So as a part of their new routine, we are going to be doing this on Mondays. One, it's like feels good on a Monday to do, um, to look forward to when you, when you're sad about the weekend being over. But the other thing is we are people who like treats and to get food and all of that. And so a part of this new idea is that we will do this on Monday. And then like, I think the idea is to like make a little charcuterie board on Friday, basically to curb the, you know, desire to want to order out or to pick up food on a whim. A few of you mentioned that in the comments, like having a set day to treat yourself. Actually, Michael does Disney. I don't know if you guys follow him on Instagram. He does awesome run Disney stuff. He actually lives really in like close to our neighborhood. Um, so I'll put his handle here because I love following him. Um, him and his husband, they go out to eat. I, I want to say like on the weekends or like Friday, Saturday night. I think I heard him said one, one, one time on his Instagram stories. And I just think that's a really good idea. It kind of like focuses you in during the week and then you have something to look forward to. So our version of that will be a little bit of something on Monday, just like coffee and a pastry. Um, and then on Friday, um, do the charcuterie. And then our Sundays are with the family. So we're a little bit more lax on like our meal routines. It's kind of like whatever we decide to make with them. So. That's kind of the full scope. Before I put my hands in my pockets because it's so stinking cold, I wanted to show you how they have the little street signs decorated for the holidays. We've got the Beauty and the Beast celebration on. <laughs> oh gosh. Happy Monday, Pete. 
Happy Monday, Sarah. <laughs> Here's your coffee, Pete. My boss is on vacation. Why not talk to him like four times today? Yeah, oh, you're man. that employee. He needs the caffeine. Every scone there looked divine. I forget what kind of scone it is, but it has an orange glaze. It, it felt holiday. Maybe it's a cranberry scone. This is the other. This is their like signature well, scone that we well, always get. Are you a little well, bit nervous? Well, you're a little well. bit nervous of the beast? Yeah. Um, It's a maple scone. A maple cracked pepper scone. I give you some, I give you some. Alrighty, here I go into the dentist to get my permanent crown on my tooth and also ask about the other tooth that they were concerned about. They wanted to take a closer look. I don't know if they were gonna try to fill the cavity. I don't know, I'm just gonna ask them today and then hopefully, it's just like, it's such a process getting them done and like, making the appointments and the holidays and stuff. So this will ease my mind a bit. Knowledge is power. All right, my work day is almost at an end. Both kids are asleep. I just got Teddy down. We'll see if he stays asleep. And James has been asleep for like an hour and a half, so he might wake up soon. That's managing two different small children's naps. Um, but they are sleeping, I think, Teddy. Might be awake. Shoot. Um, all right. So my workday is ending. Sarah is at the dentist getting the second part of her crown figured out, and then uh, today's a productive day. I think we're doing tacos for dinner. We're gonna do some things around the house. Finally, set up new baby monitors, Alexas. Just you know, responsibility. Hey, I'm home, and that hurt. No pain medication to make sure I could feel it right. And it hurts. And I have to get another one done. Not until like after the cruise though. So. Alrighty, we got a, a vibe going on here. We're gonna do a little Christmas card photo shoot. Mm-hmm. Place is a wreck. But we're gonna pull it together. Evie, are we gonna pull it together and finally do this? Hi, yeah. Brandon. Us being cool vloggers over there with all of our tripods and cameras. And Sarah's stressing about uh, which photo to use or yeah. Photoshop together. Just a little fixing. Yeah. Alrighty, I am making dinner. I'll not, I'm not gonna do a full cook with me because I kind of I kind of got late um, while we were taking the picture. I started by doing this method of cooking rice I saw on TikTok. You brown up an onion and then you're like toasting the rice. I just added in this little Southwest seasoning. Don't you just love just my thumb being painted? Um, so you can see the ingredients in it. Smells really nice. So now it's getting nice and fragrant. And then I'm gonna cook it in diced tomatoes and then add water as it kind of soaks up the juice. The main dish is black bean tacos. I'm gonna keep it simple here with just cumin salt. And I think I'm gonna add like a little bit of chili powder and a little bit of tomato paste um, for those. All right, I'm gonna make a little dressing for coleslaw to go on the tacos. It's like a spoonful of mayo, a bit of seasoned salt, a squirt of ketchup, trust me on that, and some lime juice. I might add more lime juice. I'm gonna mix it up first and then see. That was the perfect amount. So I'm gonna pour in this little bag of pre-cut coleslaw from Trader Joe's. I gotta do this with two hands. Looks delish. I'm just gonna add in some, oh, pepper. Kind of a lot of pepper. I've, I might have said this before, but when we were like solid in our plant-based lifestyle, when I would open a can of black beans, my mouth would water. like 
such like it I like craved black beans and now when I make them it like totally brings me back to that time okay I'm gonna make a salad with an avocado dressing I don't really know where I'm going with this yet but starting with half an avocado I'm gonna add in some vinegar Alrighty, that's mashed up now I just want it to be like creamier I think I'm gonna add in there's a little bit of lettuce in there because I started putting the lettuce in and then I was like no I'm gonna make the dressing in there first um some garlic hummus to give it a little bit more creaminess. Added some salt. Now I'm gonna mix in some chickpeas so they get nice and coated before throwing the lettuce in. And then lastly, I threw in there some tomatoes. I chopped up some leftover cheese I had and nutritional yeast. So I ended up cooking the rice covered and then I opened it up, added a little bit more water, covered it again. And then at the end, I put in some plant-based butter. I don't know, I was just kind of missing some like oomph to it. So honestly, I would suggest just like TikToking. Is that even a word? TikToking? Searching on TikTok for like toasted rice recipes because I did not do a good job at sharing whatever I did to make this. I heated up some tortillas in the oven. Now I'm just filling them up with the beans and then the rest of the bowl with rice. And then here are our topping options. Tomatoes, jalapenos, avocado, coleslaw, and this Frontera salsa. We have the Disney holidays special on while Peter cleans up dinner and the boys play before bed. These sweaters are from H&M. They were on sale for $12. Aren't they treasures? Is everyone okay? Oh, look at these two little snuggle bugs getting ready for bed. <laughs> All right, so I got James down. It took a little while, but he didn't fight it. He was just like laying there like boop, boop, boop. He kept saying duck. Um, we switched monitors, baby monitors, from actual baby monitors to actually security cameras that should work with our new um, Amazon Echo Show. Um, so that's going to get some getting used to. It's like a different app because it's, it looks and sounds a little differently because it's actually a security camera. Um, we got Wise, I think they were called. So we'll see how that goes. I had to, I, I liked it. I played with the settings in the one in James's room, um, just now and that like I was able to adjust some like how the night vision looks and how the sound sounds and detects. I think that's going to work out better, but Sarah had texted me that she had a really bad headache. Um, while I was in there with James and so when I came out I think she was already in bed so I hope I hope you're feeling better Sarah um, not in her typical wheelhouse to be like just like gone to bed while I was putting James down so it must have been a real bad headache she was trying to get ahead of so I think I'm going to just finish my glop cup of water I cleaned up the toys already and then probably going to call it a night it's weird like I think it's because it's the holiday week and I work in like corporate America that like a lot of people are out or going to be out as the weekend gets closer and closer um, because the holiday that like it feels like Friday even though it's Monday so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but th that's what it is it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions <laughs>